joining us again. This is our final ribbon cutting ceremony for the series of capital projects that we've been working at here for uh, a couple of years here in Lewis County. So um, this is the final piece of the puzzle that gives all of our departments a home in Lewis County owned by the county. It doesn't seem like such a big accomplishment, but for many, many years, the county rented a lot of space for our county departments, and um, as you might hear, not all of that space was always so sufficient. So um, we're very proud of uh, being able to finish this project, and uh, thanks everybody for joining us. With that, I'll turn it over to the Chairman of the Board of Legislators, Mr. Larry Dohoff. Thank you, Ryan. Welcome, everyone. And thank you for joining us in celebrating the official reopening of the Board of Elections and the Department of Motor Vehicles building. And special thank you to Senator Walzik's legislative aide, Sidney Wheeler, for attending on the Senator's behalf while he is serving overseas. And thank you to all the legislators that came to here today. Most of our county legislators are here. Thank you to Nick and Jim Garrido for their hard work and dedication on this project and to CNS engineers uh, for the fantastic job that they did on it as well. A special thanks to Lindsey Burris, the Democratic Commissioner, Ann Nortz, our Republican Commissioner, County Clerk Jake Mosier, DMV Supervisor Cindy Watkins and their team for their flexibility during the re renovations. We know that both departments are pleased to have re renovated and permanent home in, in the central location. I am sure you're all aware both departments play a crucial role in Lewis County. We want to thank you, the Board of Elections and the DMV staff for their hard work and dedication for Lewis County residents. And it's really nice to see all the people here when we first pulled in. I was afraid that it was a line trying to get in the DMV. <laughs> and I'd like to introduce Lindsey Burris, our Democratic Commissioner. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Ann Nortz, and I'm the Republican Commissioner of Elections. I'm Lindsey Burris, the Democratic Commissioner of Elections. We would like to welcome you to the ribbon cutting for our new building, which we call the Motor Voter Building. After serving as commissioners of elections for a combined total of 43 years, we have found a permanent home for the Board of Elections. We would like to thank everyone who has made this possible at the county and local levels and for seeing a vision to move us forward into a new building that not only serves our needs, but the needs of the voters of Lewis County. Um, I'd like to continue on with some personal thank yous. Ann and I would like to thank our deputies, of course, Katie and Devin. Um, they've really adapted to whatever we've thrown their way. Um, Clerk Mosier, Deputy Walters, and the DMV staff, staff, Cindy, Tracy, Mindy, Tara, and Libby for welcoming us with open arms. Um, our contractors, uh, especially Mike from Powis, he was um, very patient with Ann, myself, and the casework. Um, we'd like to thank Ryan and all of our legislators, the past and present, for making this building a reality. And because of Ryan, no other county manager will see my eyes roll over talks of promises of a new building ever again. <laughs> um, last but not least, a shout out to Tex, our DMV security, for always doing his mor morning head count to make us all feel safe. Um, and I think that's what we got, and we'll turn it over to Jake. Thank you, Ann and Lindsay. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Um, Ann and Lindsay actually helped out a whole lot of my speech by thanking everybody. But um, one last thank you is mostly I want to thank the taxpayers of Lewis County because without all the taxpayers, this building for both our departments wouldn't be possible. So just to go into a little bit of history, because I'm a county clerk and I like history, okay? So in early 1921, Al Smith proposed to reduce state expenses by transferring auto licensing in New York State from the Secretary of State to the county clerks. The Judson Motor Vehicle Bill transferred um, the Secretary of State's responsibilities in the state to the county clerks, which uh, went effective July 1st, 1921. New York Times reported that same year, by August of 1921, 
882,000 auto registrations had already been processed under the new county clerk run facilities. And before law was changed, every single registration those days ended on the same day, which was December 31st. So if you think DMV is chaos now, think about what it was in the <laughs> 1920s also, okay? Um, the first mention of the Lewis County Motor Vehicle Department occurred in early 1922 with a resolution passed by the Board of Supervisors that gave the county treasurer the authorization to transfer motor vehicle fees collected to county highway projects. New York State initially allowed county clerks to retain a whopping 10 cents per transaction. After a year of lobbying with the state, we were able to retain 25 cents per registration. And in those days, most registrations ran between five and $25, depending on the horsepower of your vehicle, not the weight. Um, county clerks, along with the New York State District Attorneys Association, lobbied in 1923 to make driver's licensing mandatory to reduce road accidents. Um, Peter J. Ulrich, uh, the county clerk at the time, in early 1924 asked for additional staffing because of changes to the highway law. Um, the Board of Supervisors at that time approved the, the resolution and they gave the county clerk an additional $1,000 for additional staffing. New York State finally established the Department of Motor Vehicles in 1924, which means that our county-run facility is actually older than the state DMV. Our DMV has been a long, proud service that we've been able to offer not only the residents of Lewis County, but residents from surrounding areas. Now I'll admit our service isn't always the most popular service because on occasion we have to use the word no, but this was a service that my predecessors deemed important and that me and the staff are proud that we can carry on their legacy. Many times the DMV is the first interaction that residents and customers have with local government. I believe it's crucial that we are true ambassadors of not only the county government, but our area as a whole when a customer enters our building. The impression left at the building can many times carry on how an individual will judge our area. The staff and I want to make sure everyone is greeted with a smile and when it's their turn they feel they are our only responsibility. It's the small town personal connection with customers that I feel that sets our DMV apart from others. The building that you have all made possible is ready to grow, evolve, and change with the future. The layout will not only suit our needs now, but it will adapt to whatever the future of the DMV may bring. I stand here today humbly and with great humility thanking all of you that made this possible. We are proud to be a part of the 102 year old legacy that was established for us and we hope that we can continue to set the standard for the ones that will follow. Thank you. One last thing, we have um, Sydney here with Senator Walzik's office. He would like to give a short little speech. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Senator Mark Walzik. Senator Walzik is currently deployed overseas with the U.S. Army Reserve. Uh, he wishes he could be here. Unfortunately, uh, he could not. Um, but it was, it was worth our time to be here because of the impacts that facilities like this make in our community. It's something that, that seems small from the outside, but it really affects what's going on uh, inside those doors and affects the, the people that use those services. Uh, so uh, on behalf of Senator Mark Walzik, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to present this certificate uh, to Lewis County upon the occasion of the grand opening of the DMV and Board of Elections building. the legislators come up but uh, elections uh, chair of each party come on up I don't know if Mike's here but uh, well we'll cut the ribbon uh,
No, no, no. The MB Ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Andrea, you tell us you're the mountain. What if I put all that on? Do these really cut? All right, I'm going to have one. Get your ready. All right, ready. Are we actually going to get your ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. That's exactly what I'm talking about.